Welcome back to The Cool Out. This segment of the show is called Put Your Money Up. Today, we're going to be discussing the very relevant issue of our icons in the African-American community, in the urban community. Um, as some of you may or may not know, Harry Belafonte recently called out Jay-Z and Beyonce, uh, basically saying that they were a good representation of what we could be as a people, but they don't necessarily do as much as they could for our community. So I have my guests here today, and I want them to kind of put themselves in the place of being the next big icon in each of their fields and kind of weigh in on this uh, topic. How would you guys feel if practically a legend for uh, social rights called you guys out and said that you could be doing more for your community? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys these prop bands. Should throw it at you. I can catch them with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you guys to weigh in on uh, this, this topic. So uh, Kai, we'll start with you. Okay, I mean, in sports, I'd say that it's plenty of people already doing for the community on a high level, so, I mean, it's not much. I mean, it's always, uh, yes, people can do more, but it's already so much being done. Mm -hmm. But I think what's the bigger issue is the media always trying to exploit the negative, right. the negative issues that come out instead of, like, praising the good that's being done. So therefore, we kind of, it's like a double standard, like we can do good, but only so good. And then they're always just gonna exploit the bad. Right. Adesua, how do you feel? You are the next Naomi. You're inspiring young women all around the world to, you know, kind of pursue their dreams, be, you know, a model. And you are called out for not, you know, kind of living up to your potential of giving back and doing all that you can. How do you feel? Well, I feel it's about a bit of a catch-22. Uh, one is that America has a very short attention span. So whomever is like hot in the moment right now isn't gonna be like two months from now. Like mm -hmm. Rihanna, I feel like gets a lot of criticism for not being like an upstanding citizen, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is that she wants to be a singer. She didn't ask you to emulate her. Right. She didn't ask your mother to put television on so you could watch it. Like, mm -hmm. let her live her life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's what's making her rich. But then it's also, it's, it's true, but then it's also a case of like, oh, I am black and my negative stigma in like public reflects for all of my people. You know what I mean? Like You, you brought up a good point, uh, which, which is fair. We have elected officials to be the upstanding citizens, right. to look to uh, mentor, make decisions for us. But at the same time, I don't think that lets certain people off the hook because they are such an influence. So now I'll pose this question to you. You know, you're killing it. You're in every major movie and in, okay. in, in every young lady wants to be, and you're even inspiring young men to be actors because they want to one day have a scene mm -hmm. with you. Yes. You're the next Felicia Rashad. Yes. Okay. I, I own that. I received that. I'm projecting that. <laughs> Thank you. you. Yes. So how do you feel? You know what, um, I actually view it a little differently. I remember um, Rihanna did an interview a little while back and you know, I bang with Rihanna, I think she's, she's dope. Mm -hmm. I think what she's been able to do and the people she's been able to influence is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but she said in the interview, she said, you know, like I didn't ask for this. Like, you know, like I don't want, I didn't ask for little girls to look up to me and, and things like that. However, I feel that when you get to that level of fame mm -hmm. and of notoriety, and of access, you have to own that. Mm -hmm. So I personally feel that as I continue to climb the success ladder, I, I don't, I'm not able to say, you know what, I just wanna live my life. I don't, I didn't ask a 13 year old to look up to me. It's like, no, that, that's why I'm doing this yeah. actually. So I've always, that's always kind of been like, a dual focus of mine is to live my own life, but also make sure that while I'm doing that, I'm inspiring other little girls who look like me to do the same thing. So Jay-Z's response to Mr. Belafonte was, um, he understands where Mr. Belafonte, was com Mr. Belafonte was coming from, of course, but Mr. Belafonte also doesn't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And my, my presence is charity. It's gonna sound arrogant, but my presence is charity, just who I am, just like Obama's is. Obama provides hope. Like this is this is this is like 
It was like, this is uh, egregious. How do you feel about that? A day so Rude. I respect Jay for that, because not everybody has to know what you're doing at all times. Mm -hmm. Some people, most people do stuff like in charity for show. It's not really what they want to do, it's what they feel they have to do. Yeah. Ashley? I respect it too. I mean, you know, I, I think that when Jay and Beyonce came out really supporting the family of, of Trayvon Martin, you know, that was like, a, that was a big deal, you know, and who knows what they're doing? They could be giving money to some child in, in Singapore. Nobody knows, you know, like, who knows, you know? And, and so, I mean, I, I think that Jay still said it respectfully. Um, I'm with it. I'm Jay-Z and Beyonce. Love Harry though, love him. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Kai, what about you? Likewise, I uh, greatly admire and respect Mr. Belafonte, but I'm rolling with J and B. And yep. to, to build on what Ashley said, I mean, when he was fighting uh, more in his time, it was more marches, rallies. I mean, now we in the technology age, like you said, people get on Twitter, Instagram, yeah. say what they have to say. That's how people are getting their news out. But uh, rolling with J and B, that's going to be. <laughs> Uh, I don't don't break the table. I know, right? <laughs> I'm playing with you. Yeah. Uh, I don't think either. I don't think I agree with either. I'm just gonna keep the money and dip. Yeah, keep the money and run. <laughs> the, model, <laughs> the model would keep the money <laughs> and, and run. run. <laughs> <laughs> she would. Yeah. She would. No, I don't agree with either. I think they're both halfway correct. Mm -hmm. So. Neutral. You're smart. You kept the money. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I, I need to rethink this whole segment. I don't even know if that was an option. Um, but just to just to uh, to cap it off and give my two cents, I think that uh, we are in a different age. I think that you know we do now have elected officials, and we have the opportunity to go and uh, elect people into office to represent us. At the same time, I don't think that that gives our current icons the uh, freedom to just say, hey, that gives me the freedom to just be, you know, who I am and not represent our, our culture and not represent us as a people. So if I were given the option to put my money up, I would have to put it on Mr. Belafonte. But my opinion doesn't matter. That's why I have my panel here. Um, so thank you for tuning in to the cool out and uh, stay tuned for more segments. <laughs>